Well, I'm going to show you scriptural support that really gets the Quranic delirium Muhammad started. All the Ishmaelite Muslims who are into this Quranic delirium, it gets them into a frenzy. But this is actually scriptural support for Quran burnings. You know, you can call this Islamophobia all you want. Okay, this is just what the Word of God says. Okay, the Word of God, Jehovah, not their Arabian moon god, Allah. Because they'll try to say, well, uh, Allah is just Arabic for, for God. Well, yeah, it's Arabic for their moon god, not Jehovah. But let's go into the scriptures. So first of all, Deuteronomy 7, verse 25 to 26. The graven images of their gods shall you burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein. For it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it. But thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. That's the Quran right there. And also the uh, image, you know, kind of like Mecca point that out their uh their uh basically their their planetary worship their moon sun worship uh idolatry plain and simple but notice how the quran it's a cursed thing you know and we're gonna see this consistent theme of burning cursed items which the quran and also also the uh, uh blasphemous uh Talmudic jewish you know their talmud i'll put it that way the, the blasphemous talmud it also falls into that category too yeah it ought to be, ought to be burned as well uh, 2 Kings 23, verse 4. And the king commanded Hilkiah the high priest and the priests of the second order and the keepers of the door to bring forth out of the temple of the Lord all the vessels that were made for Baal and for the grove and for all the hosts of heaven. And he burned them without Jerusalem in the fields of Kidron and carried the ashes of them unto Bethel. 1 Kings uh, 15 verse 11 to 13 and Asa did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord as did David his father and he took away the sodomites he, he took away the sodomites out of the land and removed all the idols that his fathers had made and also Maka because I say her name his mother even her or even her he removed from being queen because he because she had made an idol in a grove and Asa destroyed her idol and burnt it by the brook Kidron and also here's the thing on on burning cursed books uh, in particular, uh, Acts 19, verse 19, many of them also which use curious art brought their books together and burned them before all men, and they counted the price of them and, count, and found at 50,000 pieces of silver. So, you know, scripturally speaking, cursed books like the Quran or also the uh, Talmudic Judeo Satanist Babylonian Talmud ought to be burned, plain and simple. Okay, that's scriptural support that really gets the Quranic delirium these Ishmaelite Mohammedans are into, into a real frenzy. We see that over in uh, places like Sweden or pretty much anywhere, anywhere, any other European nation where they burn this uh, blasphemous, unholy book, which also, again, you know, it's scripturally supported. So uh, you no, don't let anyone tell you that, oh, you're just, you know, you're being provocative and anything else. Well, I guess uh, Moses was being provocative when he essentially mandated the burning of cursed items. You know, I guess Asa, I guess all the other guys, Asa, Hilkiah. I mean, I guess, I guess the apostles are being provocative. It's a bunch of garbage. That's all that it is when they accuse you of racism and all this other stuff. So, we'll have to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.